I drama in Dublin. The shocks keep on coming. Taylor and Nia Nine Data wired the ball. Vincent van der Boel snatched the first set, kept the pressure up, and eventually sealed the victory. Taylor heading home, a starry, starry night for Vincent. Talking to Law. Vincent, we expected a tough game there, but few would have predicted that outcome. How are you feeling? No, I think 99% uh, of the people didn't uh, expect this outcome, but um, I felt so perfect in the, in the practice room. I thought, come on, get it up there and do it. Uh, in the end of the first, I was so nervous, and I was nervous now again, but it, it just flew in, and I'm happy, really happy with the win. You didn't let it show. You played that game you love, which is a nice quick throw. Yeah, yeah, I thought, come on, get going. I'm, 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 I'm feeling OK, I'm feeling confident, and just go in there. But the belly was going <laughs> full circuit. But, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to have that win. Uh, it's uh, over the, the best player ever. It's, uh, yeah, it's an amazing feeling. What did you think when the draw was made for the first round and you were tied against Phil Taylor? I thought last year I got the number one, now I've got the number three, so I got a better draw than last year. But <laughs> I, I said to my girlfriend, I said, How's my luck, really? Uh, like Kevin Painter always says. But, but, but I thought uh, during the week, I thought just give it your best shot. Right? Everybody expects you to lose, so you can play. Yeah, you can play freely. So that's what I did. He had a little bit of trouble with the doubles. Did you notice that? Did you pick up on any vulnerabilities in his game? Um, um, not really. I think he started really well. I think the 80 finish just uh, done him a little bit. Uh, because before that he was he was superb, but I think the 80 finish was uh, was uh, hurting him. And after that, I thought I have a chance. How do you feel for the rest of the tournament now? Can you go on and win it? <laughs> uh, I think um, uh, a political answer. Uh, who knows, really? But um, I, I've I've been the best player ever. So um, then you can beat everybody. But but you have to. Uh, settle down again, focus again, and, and produce the same stuff in two days, and then you're in the quarterfinal. So it's only your first round, then, and that's the end of the conclusion from everything. You'll have Terry Jenkins in the next round. That's who you've got to get past next. What do you think of him? He's in fantastic form at the moment. Oh, that's going to be a really difficult game. I mean, uh, Terry Jenkins has been uh, in the final before, and it's going to be a, a really tough draw, a tough, tough match. You've got the crowd behind you. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. The Vincent van der Voort fan club in the house here in Dublin. He has just knocked out the 11-time World Grand Prix champion, Phil Taylor. Earlier in the night, James Wade being by Mencia Sulevich. Look out, Gary Anderson, the world champion, is coming next against... How must Gary Anderson be feeling after seeing Wade and Taylor crash out of the competition? The pressure goes onto the shoulders of the world champion in this night of upsets at the darts. Enjoying it at home at Sky Sports Stars. We want your thoughts right now. Let's get the thoughts of John Park and Wayne Mardle. Wayne, this tournament has been blown wide open. It really has indeed, Dave. But the man up there right now, Gary Anderson, who's playing John Anderson, he will be thinking, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Phil Taylor beaten. James Wade beaten. They were both in Gary's half. It is now, it has to be an easier half for Gary. And there is no disrespect to any player he might play along the way. He is the number two seed. The main dangers for him were James Wade and Phil Taylor. They are gone. Sulevic beats Wade. Van der Voort beats Taylor. The backers of Gary Anderson will be thinking it's Christmas come early. But there's many an obstacle in the way, and that is one big obstacle. John Henderson. John is going to be tough to beat because we know how well he can play. He's had his moments. Yeah, I think his game is coming back to where he wants it as well. He's finding a bit of form. And he's certainly familiar with Gary. There's not going to be any nerves up there. It's just going to be a battle. We know that the doubling is everything. John Anderson is normally quite straight. And if he can keep the first dart above the tops or in it like that, then Gary could also be finding the night a bit tough, just like Phil and James have. The drama of this evening, the drama of darts. What a night. Yeah.
John looks truly in focus, and there's first maximum of the match. That didn't take long. Good reply from Gary. Well, both players seem at ease already, John, and you said there won't be many nerves, and uh, I think you're right. Well, yeah, they're just playing a game of darts, much like at the beginning of the last match. Vincent looked to me like he was just ready to play a game of darts against a very good player, and he was feeling the challenge. And I think the similar kind of mindset here. I think the fact that John Henderson is so familiar with Gary Anderson as a human being and dart player will, will definitely make him feel at ease, yes. Gary, you require 85. For the first leg. 20 or treble. Bullseye now. Oh, yes! What a finish! Little bullseye, first leg. Well, he didn't look nervous, but if he was, that will settle him down. Yeah, might plant a seed of doubt into John's mind. No score. A let off. Very much so. Well, it's effectively like the first start because both players have missed, so start again. Easy. Yeah, good good start. And it was a great chance for Gary to kind of really rattle Hendo. Gary Anderson fans. The reigning players champion. Premier League champion and world Easy. champion is Gary Anderson. Hey, he's not bad. <laughs> Seems to be getting better. Yeah, what a year it's been for Gary. Didn't play particularly well in the match play and since then hasn't played great. There we see Hendo hitting a 180 and that's how he goes about his business. Comes on sometimes to rocking all over the world because it's a two and in a throw in. But he builds up momentum. That's the way he goes about his business. Yeah, with that style, you need to have precision consistency because it can go wrong very easily. Yeah, it's easy to drag the dart down and throw high. You need to release at the same point every single time. Um, John Anderson has got 180 and 121 to leave tops. And that is a brilliant seven darts. Both players know right now, John, that they're, they will be involved in a tough match. Yeah, well, I, I think Gary really blew his opportunity when he failed to get in after the Hendo didn't get in. And then what happened? Well... Henderson comes down quite comfortably. Great leg of darts, a 180 in there. 80. Bang, it's 1-1. One, one. Go on then, Gary. Go on, Gary! Oh, I think he's making up for it. <laughs> We've already seen Phil Taylor miss the bullseye for a magnificent nine darter. Can Gary Anderson go one better? 60, 51, ball! Oh, yes. Well, not as good as Phil so far. Who's to say he won't get another chance? John Anderson sports and he says, good effort. Well, not much else he can do in this day. <laughs> One hundred and thirty-four. Gary requires sixty-four. Another. Clearly went for the eight to leave tops. This is good. This is a real, real good set of darts so far. Neither player really making that many mistakes. And when they did make the mistakes, they both made it, John, didn't they? And that's where Gary probably did miss the opportunity to go 2-0 up. Uh, now twice that Hendo, when it's his throw, has failed to get in. It's almost like he's feeling more pressure because it is his throw and he doesn't want to give away the start. And, well, the worst possible outcome this time around. The punishment that Gary didn't deliver in the second leg has been meted out. Yeah, it was a case of no you're score. not getting away with it again. Hendo has buckled. 
changes so quickly in this format. You can look a million dollars and you can be throwing a million dollars and then it all goes wrong. Speak to James Wade about that. Great pace to this game as well, this match. They're getting on with it. And they both enjoy that bang, bang, bang pace. It's the way darts should be played. Quality visit. This is John Henderson's second appearance at the World Grand Prix. Back in 2011 was his last performance and his first. Reached a quarter final then. Beat Justin Pye from Wes Newton on the way before losing to Brendan Dolan. So he knows what it's like to win on that stage. 81. Gary required 96. And it's for us the first set. He's got the two darts. Really, really fine form from Gary Anderson. Because Hendo, he's been there. He's rocking in the 180s, but still loses the first set 3 1. Gary Anderson looking almost in cruise control at this point.